Hi everyone, it's Kendall here from OnInhale.com. I'm a holistic nutrition counselor and yoga instructor, and I'm here to tell you how you don't have to gain a pound this Thanksgiving. I have 10 tips to help you stay the same size and still enjoy yourself. The first tip is never go hungry. Don't wait until you're starved to eat something because that won't lead to the best decision. Make sure that you always have something healthy on hand. The second tip is have a healthy Thanksgiving breakfast. Skip the pastry or any special type of dessert type of food that your family might have. Have a healthy breakfast. Maybe it's a smoothie, oatmeal with fruit, eggs and fruit, and maybe a whole grain toast. Make sure that you are sticking to a well-rounded, healthy breakfast that your body responds well to. The third tip is water, water, and more water. I really can't stress this enough, especially when you're eating high-calorie, high-fat foods that you might not normally be used to. Make sure that your body is moving properly and that you're hydrated to help process all of these foods. Okay, the fourth tip is warm water with lemon on Friday morning. You could do this any morning, but it's a great gentle way to detox the body after uh, an indulgent and rich meal. So you take warm water and squirt some lemon in, some fresh lemon. You could add honey if you'd like as well. And you have a great little detox um, right after Thanksgiving. Okay, twist and deep breathing. Those are also great ways of moving your body in a way that will help digest all of your foods. Um, you can do some breathing exercises, go to a yoga class, take some gentle twists to the side, and just start moving. I'm sure that any teacher that you go to um, after Thanksgiving will have that already planned. All right, and the sixth tip is portion. So don't deprive yourself, but stick to one serving. So start with one serving of your food and see how you feel. There are so many different options at Thanksgiving, so even if you try just a little bit of everything, it's a big plate of food. So eat slowly, eat of serving size, and then see how you feel. Step away. So this comes to um, appetizers and desserts. Usually they're out for people to pick at, and that's dangerous. So you don't have to skip either of them, but if you take a small appetizer or dessert-sized plate, add what you'd like, how much you'd like, and then move away so you're not tempted to just reach and eat while you're talking to someone. You won't even remember that you had it. You really won't be conscious while you're, while you're eating it. Enjoy someone's conversation without mindlessly eating as well. All right. The next tip is watch your alcohol. So a lot of times, um, well, it is a big time to go out with your high school friends, friends and family you haven't seen in a while, and drink. Set a limit. This is my suggestion. So set a limit of how many drinks you want for the entire weekend. L realize that you could have an extra brownie or you could have a beer. So know that if you are trying to stay the same size, there is going to be some sort of control here. And a great way of doing so is through alcohol. And the ninth tip is move. Move every day until Thanksgiving and during Thanksgiving. It would be great if you could move all the way through this entire week. You don't have to do an hour of cardio to have a workout. It could be some strength training. It could be a 15-minute interval workout. It could be 15 minutes of yoga every day, doing something different. Um, I would encourage some sweating, actual sweat. Maybe it is some cardio the day of Thanksgiving or the day after. Make sure that you continue to move to feel like your normal self. Okay, and the last tip, number 10, is only weigh yourself once a week. Do not weigh yourself the day after Thanksgiving. So although you won't gain weight this Thanksgiving, you might have some added water weight. You might have a little bit extra. So just make sure that you don't weigh yourself until a few days after. And at that point, I guarantee that you will not have gained any weight. So Make sure that you follow these 10 tips. If you have any questions, you can always email me, kendall at onaninhale.com. Check out my website. Let me know what's going on, how your Thanksgiving went, if these tips actually worked. I'll be testing them out myself, and I hope that you have a great Thanksgiving.